everybody, E here. Welcome back to Happy Holidays. We're on day six, I believe. Anyways, uh, before we get into the review, I wanna do some self-promo stuff like I've been doing. I have a couple sales going on uh, until Christmas, until December 25th. And I also have two short stories available, uh, Secret Santa and Oh Holy Shit. Uh, oh Holy Shit is under a pin name, Ward Nerdlow. Um, both of those are 99 cents each. Links are down there in the doobly-doo. Also, I have, this isn't Christmas themed, but it is cold weather themed, and that is Maiden is on sale right now for $2.99 in ebook and $9.99 in paperback. I wrote this one under the Ward, Ner Ward Nerdlow pin name also, and I wrote this with T.C. Parker. The next one we have is War on Christmas, which is a collection of three, short st three interconnected short stories uh, that tell a tale of Santa Claus trying to save the day from Krampus and other uh, seasonal favorites. That's the Naughty List, the, the three short stories of the Naughty List, Deck the Halls, and Beyond the Gates of Toyland. This is 99 cents in the ebook and 9.99 in paperback. But let's go ahead and get into the review. Today we are talking about a guilty pleasure of mine, and I do like the term guilty pleasure when you know objectively that something is bad, but you still watch it probably mostly just to make fun of it. Um, now, if you if you absolutely love it and you seriously love it, now that's not a guilty pleasure, but I do like the word, the, the term guilty pleasure for movies like this one, which is Santa's Slay, S-L-A-Y. Uh, in this movie, Santa isn't, he doesn't have the old St. Nicholas uh, backstory. He made a deal, he made a bet with an angel for curling, you know, like... Olympic, you, you know what I'm talking about, um, and if uh, the angel beat him, he'd have to be uh, kind and give presents and all that stuff, so this demon becomes uh, Santa Claus uh, 4,000 years until the bet is over, and then he starts going on a murderous rampage. Um, the story follows Kyle Rittenhouse, <laughs> I'm sorry, I knew I wasn't going to be able to say it without... Without laughing, the, the, the dude looks like the shithead. He, he looks just like him. Um, <laughs> but anyways, this is beside the point. When the guns come out, man, it's e even more so. I was like, oh boy, this movie was ahead of its time. Anyways, uh, so this kid is trying to save his town of hell. Hell Township is the, what it's called. And I know there's a hell Michigan. I don't think this is the same. <clears throat> Anyways, so Santa Claus comes to town and just starts um, murdering people. It's a lot of there's a lot of fun to be had in the first ten minutes. Uh, if if you've ever wanted to see Fran Drescher, you know the nanny. Um, man, is that an old reference? Probably super old reference. Anyways, if you've ever wanted to see Fran Fran Drescher set on fire and then drowned in a punch bowl full of eggnog, this is the movie for you. It has some fantastic one-liners. Uh, this movie is a blast to watch if you shut your brain off. <clears throat> Great one-liners like uh, Goldberg as Santa Claus saying, Who's your daddy? Father Christmas. <laughs> I know, I'm 12. And another one is like, uh, and another one, he's he's on a Zamboni and he's chasing him down. They shine a flashlight in his face and he, and he goes, I'm Santa Claus, not fucking Dracula. <laughs> Anyway, if you have that kind of sense of humor, this movie is for you. Um, especially at the end, the 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 way they they get rid of, of Santa Claus. Um, I'm talking about the rocket launcher. Yes, there's a rocket launcher in this movie. Um, it it's it's just a lot of fun to watch, and there's so many things that I want to talk about. But I want you to experience it for yourself. Uh, th this is one of those. This is one of those stories. <laughs> um, I, I'm surprised it got made. Uh, I think it actually came out. M maybe not in theaters. Um, I do know that it was. Maybe it was a USA or Sci-Fi original or something. Um, I remember when it first came out, and I watched it when it first came out. But I can't remember if I watched it on TV or not. Uh, it is. It is brutal. It is gory. It is hilarious. And Bill Goldberg as Santa Claus doing his like Batman, the Christian Bale Batman voice is amazing. Um, it, like I said, it's one of those movies that you go in and you watch it just so you can pick on it and make fun of it. 
Um, it is up there with movies like Rumpelstiltskin, Jack Frost, uh, Uncle Sam. Uh, hardcore horror fans, or maybe even some of you casuals, have, have stumbled across these movies. They're not meant to be taken seriously, like Leprechaun in the Hood, that kind of thing. It's just good horror fun, and this one just happens to be holiday-themed. It happens to be, you know, Christmas. Um, I will warn you that uh, this the filmmakers, the writers, uh, were really pushing back a, against political correctness. So there is a lot of stuff in here that might upset some people. Anti-Semitism, uh, homophobia. There's all different kinds of stuff in here. Um, I'm not. I'm definitely not saying that it's a that it's okay or it's fine because it's it's jokes. But just be forewarned if you're going to go out. This, this is definitely more of a. I would say conservative leaning uh, movie because you got the, the obviously I love guns. Guns save the day here, um, which again makes it hella awkward that the dude looks like Kyle Rittenhouse. But uh, yeah, so there's his love interest, the girl that runs around with him. Her name is Mac. I can't remember the kid's name to save my life. Um, I actually I liked her a lot. Uh, she had terrible, terrible dialogue. Everybody has terrible dialogue in this movie, but her especially. There's also a running gag about a, a police captain named Captain Cock, C-A-U-L-K, and there is a string of jokes while the, the boy and the girl are running from Santa Claus that if you pay attention, there's some, there's some very overt stuff that is just going to make you roll your eyes, but there's a couple of jokes, if you pay attention, that are very subtle that I actually laughed about. Uh, but anywho, uh, I want you to watch the movie for yourself. I believe it's on, uh, which one is it? Is it Paramount Plus or Pluto? It's one of those two. But those are my thoughts on Santa's sleigh. Have you seen this obscure horror comedy? I'm like, uh, they do with 2000 and something, 2004 or something like that. Yeah, I should have looked it up beforehand. But have you seen this one? Did you like it? Did you not like it? Were you offended? Did you think it was the, the height of comedy? Whatever. Tell me whether or not you loved it, you hated it, you felt mad about it down there in the doobly-doo. But add details so that we can have a discussion. Don't just say, oh my god, this movie sucks. Yes, it sucks, of course, but what sucks about it? Let me know down there in the doobly-doo. But until next time, I have an E, you have been you. This has been another episode of Happy E Holidays. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye!